Anybody who has ever studied the Torah and is infatuated with the laws, statutes, and commandments of our Creator, we know that when we call out an oath or when we say what we are going to do and we don't do it, that is breaking a commandment. Now, let's read the oath of the Hallelujah Scriptures. This is what it says. All donations given to Hallelujah Scriptures, unless specified, are used for printing and shipping only. This is what they begin their vow with, right? For 13 years, people believed this was very much true. And this is why people donate and they donate and they donate. Let's read it from their own site. When a man vows a vow to Yahuwah or swears an oath to bind himself by some agreement, he does not break his word. He does according to all that comes out of his mouth. Numbers 32. Now let's take a look. Let's read a little bit further into their so-called oath that they have before we go over bank statements where I will show you that everything they say is a complete lie. This is what they say. Our vow to Yahuwah and you, his people. All donations for the Holy Scriptures from the public at large go to printing and shipping fulfillment costs only unless otherwise specified by the donor. When a man vows a vow to Yahuwah or swears an oath to bind himself by some agreement, he does not break his word. He does according to all that comes out of his mouth. Bimidabar, Numbers 32. Now, this is the funny thing about Deborah Wes, Weiss, Wessel, is that she continues to quote scriptures as she lies and lies and lies. Let's continue on what they say. The Hallelujah Scriptures founding members and management team that's there's nobody except Deborah Wessel and Max, and it's not even Max. It is um, Ken Wessel, Ken Weiss, whatever their pseudonym for the day is. That is what it is. So there's no t founding member. It is a founding member and sh Shalom and him. He hereafter collectively referred to as team made a vow not to take any funds for wages, overheads or equipment from general donations that we receive from the Hallelujah Scriptures. This vow is made public on the Holy Scriptures website and has been since the inception of the project. We take this vow very seriously. No one has ever taken funds for wages, payment, or lifestyles and never will. Every person in the Holy Scriptures team uses their own equipment unless someone donated for an equipment for Holy Scriptures official use and receives no payment whatsoever. Now, every single person that works for the Holy Scripture or has worked for the Holy Scriptures has had a monthly payment. Most people. There are some postal people that actually had jobs and they did this voluntarily completely. But for the most part, they find people who are down on their luck or who are just trying to seek our creator and they will bring them in and then they will give them anywhere between... Um, I, I've seen it as low as 500 and I've seen it as high as 2,500 before per month. When you're on the good side of Deborah Wessel, Weiss, she will give you lots of money. You are in the click. You are in the grift club if you get paid a lot. And so a lot of people have been paid a lot and um, she pays for their house. She pays for their food. She pays for pretty much everything. So everything here that she's saying is a complete lie. Let's continue on. All other project related costs aside from printing, shipping, fulfillment costs such as web server, accountant, bookkeeper, and domain name fees, communication costs, secure email system for the team to use, microphones for the audio project, etc. are covered by donors who specifically want to finance other costs. We have also offered extra biblical books on donation basis specifically to help these other cost components of the project other than printing and shipping. This was clearly stated publicly on the six new book pages of the website. The Hallelujah Scriptures is not a large ministry. They say they are. It is a small ministry now and has branches and postal agents in many countries because it has been run according to his word and law. In a short period of time, the father and his son has Baraka blessed the project. We consider it great honor to serve the father, his son, and you. His people would not want any payment for it as his people, that doesn't make any sense, his people and would not want any payment for it is our reward is not of this world. This, none of that makes any sense at all. I'm trying to read it at the best of my abilities, but her writing isn't so good. Now let's take a quick look, guys. Let's take a look at... Um, this is June 2022 of this little company that doesn't take any profits, doesn't take any kind of money. Supports no lifestyles, they say. Okay, so this little poor company, um, it had on, what again, day we're talking, June 
2022, right? And you guys, and it was in September and October. So we had June, July, August, September. Three months after they this statement was around, they went and they stole a whole bunch of money and they, they financed their house. They financed a warehouse that they now have stuff in. Okay, so let's take a quick look again at this. Um, so they got $56,462 in book sales and deposits and, and donations. Deposits were 1057. Checks paid out 2222. Electronic payments 5879.88, other withdrawals 2500, ending balance was $287,000. Yeah, baby. Look at that go. These guys are rich. Definitely rich. Okay, let's take a look. Where do they get their money at? These are all books and donations. So, Stripe so look at this. Their book sales every single day. They're doing really well, guys. Look at this. These numbers add up a lot. And so this is interesting. I see some notes here. These were donations, right? People just said, here, here's $947.50. Here's $278, right? Goes right in the bank accounts. Um, it doesn't go anywhere other than this. Now, there is another PayPal, and she, the Deborah Weiss Wessel, she dumps a tremendous amount of money into the Hands of Love PayPal account. This is an enormously wealthy grift, my friends. The people of Yaw are very, very good to these people. Now, let's take a quick look at page two. Ending balance, 287114 Just to be completely thorough here. And all of these documents will be linked up on the messianichallofshame.org. Um, you can find that. I will leave a link in this description. And you guys can just look at the very bottom of the page. This is where it will be. Um, this is number 10 of the expose, exposing the Hallelujah Scriptures and their criminal enterprise activities. Okay. Now I'm continuing on right here. Page 3 of 6, Hallelujah Scriptures. This is their deposits. So, um, or actually, no, this is, uh, yeah, these are electronic deposits. So they ended up with, some kind of uh, money in from Amazon. I'm not sure what that is about. Uh, credit, credit card, credit card, credit. Yeah, so they got a credit for something. 87, 83. Um, so they threw that in there. More donations, right? $300 just thrown into the account. There's no free Bibles. And, and what you will notice in all of this, guys, in all of their accounts, there are no orphans, widows, and lepers. There are nobody that has ever, they don't write checks for the orphans, widows, and lepers, and I don't see that coming out of any accounts anywhere. So these are huge days. Now, this $6,500 in PayPal, that is donations as well. Those all come in via donations, and so there's another $6,500 we have. So the incoming was $56,462.87. Okay, now remember, they don't support their lifestyles. We just read their oath that none of their money goes to anything. So... Why has somebody paid Vineland Utilities, May? Well, we know why, because they own the house. They stole that house in 2018, and um, it, there's this house that's over $400,000 that the Hallelujah Scriptures has. There's another house that's $235,000. We know of other properties that they're grifting that are in the hundreds of thousands. So what, what do we make of this? What do we make of South Jersey gas? What about a patent renewal? What does a patent renewal have to do with anything with donors? If we are going to an oath and we go up here and this is their oath that every last bit of money, all donations given to Hallelujah Scriptures unless specified are used for printing and shipping only. So what? why do we have a patent renewal inside of this? What, why, why did they pay $1,600? I thought there was a 650. I thought it was 650. There's a one right there. $1,650 for a patent renewal. What do they have a patent on? Why does how you scriptures? Why are they taking donation monies and paying for a patent? Let's continue on. So reimbursement um, post office. So it looks like um, whoever it was that were, that had these, they were getting reimbursed, and I actually know who had these. They were getting reimbursed for post office, right? They were using their stuff. Now, here's another, Vineland Utilities for June, right? And also, we have a broken windshield. Check number 440, broken windshield replacement. I am so missing the point where it says all donations given to Hallelujah Scriptures unless specified are used for printing and shipping only. 
Now I've seen a lot of the donation checks. I have seen a lot of what they bring in. There's nothing in there that says for these kind of purposes. Now, they have obviously lied one, two, three, four, six times right there, right? A broken windshield replacement has nothing to do with the will of our creator. None of this stuff. Okay, what about a warehouse lawnmower? So they bought a, a lawnmower for Vineland for their house over there, $457.42. Who has the lawnmower? Where is the lawnmower? Who has the people of Yah's lawnmower? They bought a lawnmower that belongs to the people of our creator, right? It goes to their warehouse. They said nothing that they, none of this stuff is supposed to be bought. So how do we explain this? So there's web serving hosting, GoDaddy, $30. That's business stuff, right? Let's take a look. Page four. What have they paid for? All right. So they are paying stuff on PayPal, which is probably, um, which is probably more than likely. Okay. There's name.com. There's, that's where they, uh, I don't know where that's at. That's probably some, uh, internet stuff that they're doing. Um, oh, extra posting shipping boxes. That's interesting that we have this heavy, uh, duty silver tarp. What is that? Oh, heavy duty silver tarp. Okay. I got that. Um, lawnmower oil. Um, more purchases here and there. Um, very interesting stuff here, for sure. Um, what is this? Interstate purchase. Hallelujah scriptures. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a printing. So there you go. There's finally some printing stuff. That's cost of goods sold. Right there. Okay. Well, they're buying gasoline for somebody's vehicle. Why are they buying gasoline for somebody's vehicle? That doesn't make any sense. How are we fulfilling an oath? Why are we lying and why are people continuing to donate after they know this. So here it is. Canada partial shipping. That's fine. Listing for warehouse helper. Um, <laughs> looking like they're trying to get some help wherever they were at. Um, because um, Deborah Wessel will literally run people to the grave. She will, as she's spending thousands, five to $15,000 a month, she is taking the people that have donated their time and are trying to do the will of our creator. And she runs them ragged and breaks their backs. It's amazing. Okay, let's continue on on this. So we have stuff all over the place. None of this stuff is, this is all like, okay? So what is this? Hallelujah Scripture cell phone. Why are they buying cell phones with the Hallelujah Scriptures? 11280. You know, if we have a, 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 um, a oath, what in the world is this? What is petty cash withdrawal for $1,000? Why, why are we getting cash? This doesn't seem like a business expense. And where are the orphans, widows, and lepers? We see all of the, their cell phones. We see their vehicles. We see what it looks like when you're running a business. But we do not ever see any kind of St. Mary's Boys House or Sister Francis whatever um, orphanage. There's none of this. Guys, there is nothing out there. These people are completely fraudulent. Everything they're doing is completely fraudulent. And the problem is most of you guys out there are brainwashed and have, will never, ever figure this out. And so the donations, until the authorities come and arrest Deborah and, and Max or Ken, you know, their pseudonyms, this will probably go on for a while. This is why we need to inform everybody that's out there. This is, this is a scam. Look at this. Let's continue on. How do you use scripture? Cell phone paid off. $583.25. Now, this is one of the only times that we actually have some line items of exactly what this stuff is. So we know that they paid from Verizon. They bought an iPhone. How is this honoring this? How is this right? All donations given to Hallelujah Scriptures, unless specified, are used for printing and shipping only. That is a complete lie. Most of these expenses are not for printing. Most of these are not for shipping. In fact, that's a very little of what they spend. Let's continue on. There's more gas. Who has a gas? Why do they have vehicles, right? If they are taking an oath that there's no money going out, why haven't they told people about the vehicle petrol? Why haven't they told us about all this stuff? It's a scam, guys. These people are scamming us all. They've scammed the creator. They've scammed the word of our creator. And it's a mess. Let's finish off. Let's head over to this. The six of six. Um... Then they, uh, I don't know what that is, $2,500, more money. I mean, these people just really, really, really blow money away. Now, let's look at this. Guys, remember this. This is, this is three months before they cried the blues that they could ship their own stuff. After they scammed everybody for $10,000, another $10,000, it, 
It never stops. Guys, 240,200 is when these guys started this. 614, they had 266,000, halfway in the month, right? By this date, they had 615, two, almost 270. And by the end of the month, this poor little company that sends everything out to publishing and shipping had $287,000. Now, if that were true, then that would be great. But they have 287,000 sitting in their account. Now, the hardest thing that I have ever found to do is put a face on this, this scantless group of people. I got one face wrong of this gal, and I've apologized to her a thousand times. I'm really sorry. I'm tracking demons that have literally hidden themselves for 13 years. Their entire job, Deborah Wessel, is a conspiracy theorist nuthouse that she thinks the end of the world is here. It's always going to be here, and she's always running to and fro. So putting a face to these criminal names has been hard. But this is who you're looking at right here. You are looking at the mastermind, Deborah Wessel, Deborah Weiss, whatever her name is, Shalom Weiss. They're all the same people. Is this the face of a kingdom person that does the will of our creator? Is this the face of somebody that's trustworthy? Do you guys not understand what they said in this oath? If you guys continue to send them money you're still complicit with their actions. No money is going to the orphans. No money is going to the widows. No money is going to the lepers. Nothing. Nothing. We have the statements, guys. You can see this. We have months and months of bank statements. How many orphans, widows, and lepers do you guys see in this? PayPal, Name.com, Amazon, Maketi Express Cargo. USPS, they're shipping. That's that's at least they're not lying there. That's they're paying for shipping. But look at the rest. What about Amazon? What about iDigital? What about NetDNA? What about Home Depot? Home Depot, this isn't printing. None of this is. When are we going to stop this madness that these people are doing in the name of our creator? This is not the only codex that's out there. There will be other free ones. You can download a free copy of the Hallelujah Scriptures and you do not have to support a criminal enterprise. That's what we need to do is people need to be aware and don't be scared. My fellow brothers and sisters, we are not to be scared of our enemies. We are not to be scared of the enemies of our creator. We are to be scared of our Elohim only. We are to fear him. If we fear our creator, then we're not going to do things like this. Guys, I've been exposing these people for three to four months and the only People that come and claim they've helped them out are not credible. There's nobody out there. There should be people clamoring at my door. My email is open. People have my phone number. They can get a hold of me. There's stuff here. There's just nobody out there. Where are the countless widows and orphans and things that have been helped? This is all over Facebook. This is all over the internet. It's all over Odyssey and Rumble and 153news.net. It is all over YouTube. Not a single peep from them. Where's their accountability? If these people are honest, why aren't they bringing forth what's going on in these statements? Why aren't they telling us about the purchases and the, the cell phones and the things they are buying? Why are they buying this stuff and they're telling us they're not? Where's the thousand dollars in petty cash? Where does that go? Right? Are you going to tell us you're smuggling Bibles into third world countries and lying about traffic from China? All of this is exposure, guys. This is what the hand of our creator is doing. The hand of our creator is exposing people that have done very great evil stuff and they're not helping the orphans, widows, and lepers. And we have to make sure everyone knows this. I'm out.